Hello everyone, welcome to DMV II highlights for November 4th, 2017. Keep in mind, stocks and strategies discussed here are for information only. Do not treat any information provided here as investment advice or recommendation. It is up to the individual investor to perform due diligence prior to investing in any company. And here are the symbols covered this week. Feel free to pause the video and look up the symbols to learn more about the underlying businesses. On the micro highlights, for the month of September, personal income went up 0.4% and consumer spending went up 1%. Core personal consumption expenditure price index, however, only went up 0.1%. This signals flat or small change to core inflation. ISM manufacturing index went down 1.2% to 58.7 for month of October signaling slight weakening in manufacturing sector. This week's EIA Petroleum Status reported crude oil down 2.4 million barrels, gasoline down 4 million barrels, and distillates down 0.3 million barrels, refineries operating capacity at 88.1%. FOMC meeting announced no interest rate hike this month, but still expect to rate hike for the month of December. Trump picked Jerome Powell as the new Federal Reserve Chairman. Jobless claims down 1.7% to 229,000 for the week. Non-farm payrolls rose 261,000 for the month of October, with unemployment rate at 4.1%, further tightening the labor market and making the December rate hike even more likely to happen. Nation's trade deficit for the month of September widened by almost 2.6% to negative $43.5 billion. On the stock's highlights, Qualcomm and Apple drama continued. Early this week, news on Apple potentially leaving Qualcomm behind and moved to Intel or MediaTek caused Qualcomm to drop over 7%. But later in the week, news on Broadcom planning to unveil a bid on Qualcomm revived the stock. Qualcomm closed 13.27% higher this week, and Apple closed 5.8% higher this week due to earnings. Orbotech announced third quarter earnings and beat Wall Street's estimates with $245.7 million in revenue, 48% gross margin, and gap EPS of $0.75. Cents. Orbotech announced fourth quarter guidance with $245 to $250 million in revenue and gross margin about 48%. Stock closed 11.52% higher this week. And finally, Bitcoin rose over $7,000 per coin this week. And this concludes this week's highlights. Share, thumbs up, and subscribe to support us here. Thank you for watching.